Let's take a deep breath together. <laughs> um, it's June and life is just a lot and it has been for a while now. And I feel like we just keep going through these cycles of, of new things to need to take a deep exhale about. And um, yeah, I think we're all in that same place for one reason or another. Um, so this month I wanted to um, say hi in this way before I start the um, creative part of the video. I'm so glad you're here with me this month for the club. Um, and if you're not a club member and you're watching this, just finding me on YouTube, welcome. <laughs> um, this is a creative video that is part of my Soul Care Creatives Club, which is a monthly membership um, club to help nourish um, your soul and, and create fun things um, to do so. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say hello. And this month's theme is take what you need. And I hope that not just the, the full club uh, content this month, but also with the video, with this video, um, watching my process creating this art journal spread, um, you can take what you need. That if you just need to watch and relax, that you can do that. If you want to be inspired to create your own, um, of course, I would love if, if it inspires you to create your own. Um, but just take what you need from this. Um, and know that you are not alone, wherever you are, whatever you're feeling, um, that we are all in this together. And creating is one way and sharing it with you is one way that I um, help my soul feel calmer and more at peace. So I hope this um, video does that for you and your membership in the club does that for you. And if you're not a member, um, I would love to have you check it out and join us. And you can do that at um, on my website at mandyford.co slash soul care creatives club. Um, so with that said, um, I'm sending you all of the good vibes and good energy for your month. And let's do something creative. Okay, friends. So I am going to be doing a spread in my big art journal here. This is a really fun journal. It's huge <laughs> um, and it's really thick and I still have a lot to go in it. As you can see, I haven't created a ton in it yet. I've covered it with fun stickers. Um, so I'm going to um, open it up. This is one I recently did. That's super fun. Um, I'm gonna open it up to a brand new spread. Um, and first I'm going to show you what I have here supply-wise. I have some paints. These are from Target. These are really fun uh, acrylic paints. So I have four of those. I have white. I have a selection of paintbrushes and my palette over here. And I brought a couple of bottle caps because I like to use these to create texture sometimes. And then I have a few other paints over here. These are from Studio Calico bought these a while back when they were on sale. Um, the tubes are adorable <laughs> and the colors are really pretty too. Um, and they complement these really well. They're very similar actually. So I have those paints as well. I have some washi just in case because I mean, it's washi tape, right? <laughs> um, scissors, a uh, glue stick, some double-sided tape. This is from scrapbook.com. I love this double-sided tape. It lasts forever. Um, I've got a binder clip in case I need to keep my, my page open. And then I also put together a selection of some ephemera, bits of magazines, um, pieces that I might use on my page. Um, I have some words. Uh, this is a fun pattern. I think, I think I bought something on Etsy and it was wrapped in this, which is really fun. So I saved that to use in collage. Um, a piece from an envelope here and some other fun tissue paper. So I have all those goodies. Um, but first, I'm gonna push, I'm gonna push all this stuff to the side here. This journal needs a lot of space to open up. I'm gonna open it up to a blank spread. I don't want this to be intimidating um, for you. I want this to just be a really fun, easy process. And I'm going to show you first how I lay down my paint. Um, I am not um, trained as a painter 
whatsoever other than you know some art classes in school um i did not go to college for art so this is like literally just me playing and kind of taking ideas that i've found from other artists from watching other artists create um you know spreads but and actually first i think i really love this um what is this color called coral bay i really love this color and these little tubes are great because i'm literally just going to squeeze squeeze some paint on the page and just go like don't think about it just do it that's my best advice don't think about it just do it <laughs> so and i'm also going to take um i think some of this pink this is called blush crush that's cute and i'm gonna do the same thing i'm just gonna put some dots down um, I'll be honest, I am not someone who like, <laughs> likes to get messy. Um, and so this process, it feels really freeing for me, but it's not, it doesn't come like naturally. I don't love getting messy, but honestly, with everything that's gone on the last couple of years, it feels really good to do this. Like the feeling of just getting into the paint and spreading it around feels so good. <laughs> honestly, some days when I'm just sad or anxious or stressed out. Um, I've learned that doing this, if even if I just put paint on the paper, I feel so much better. It just, it's just calming <laughs> and you can get aggressive with it. Get aggressive with it if you need to. Um, and mixing the colors together, they're so pretty together. Um, you don't need to worry about keeping them separate. And this is just our base layer. We're gonna do a bunch of stuff on top of this. And I literally, <laughs> other than a few kind of ideas, I have no plan for this. And that's also um, pretty freeing. Um, it can be scary at first, but not having a plan and just going with the flow and doing what feels right is so relaxing. <laughs> it's just so relaxing to not have to have a plan and to just go with it. Um, I think I'm gonna add some white in to kind of break this up a little bit and lighten it up and just go in with that and take, I'm gonna take a new brush. You know, one thing I didn't grab is my, um, my old, I have like a gift card, like an old Amazon gift card, not Amazon, I don't know what it is, but um, that I use in my journals to kind of scrape the paint down. And I forgot to grab that. Um, but I think what I'm going to do, I kind of like how this looks and what I'm going to do now, I think, um, let's get this stuff off here. The palette's supposed to be like to put paint on, but I haven't, <laughs> I haven't done that. You know, what I think I'm going to do is take my, um, bottle cap here and do some texture and you can scrape with this too. Um, that looks really cool. I really like that. Let's see what the, let's see what this big one does. This is off like a, a pill bottle. That looks really fun. And it's okay if you have some lumps of paint, of course it's gonna take longer to dry, but um, the texture will be fun um, once it's dry, cause you'll have that extra texture. I had not planned on doing this at all. <laughs> <laughs> and I really like how it looks. It's really fun. I think I'm gonna use this one over here a little bit. I get some paint on my fingers. Use this one over here to kind of overlap the circles. That looks really cool. Yeah, I like that. That's really fun. I'm gonna do maybe some um, scrapes to break up some of it. That cool, that's a cool texture. I've never tried this before. You're experiencing some <laughs> first, first things with me right now. I've never tried this technique before and I really like it. So basically I'm just dragging the, um, the cap through the paint and it also kind of breaks up some of the clumps so it'll dry faster. Um, one thing you can do, and I have an old hair dryer, I'm gonna um, probably grab to um to dry it you know a little quicker um if you're impatient like me <laughs> and you want it to be dry right away um that looks really fun i really like that um 
honestly, I think this is just gonna be my base layer. I really like this. And it literally took just a couple minutes and you get this really pretty, I know it kind of is uh, shiny against the camera. So my pages are stuck together. Um, you can kind of see I've got, I've got a lot of paint globbed up right there. So I think I'm gonna take my brush and smooth some of those globs out so that they'll dry faster. Um, but the texture is fun um, because it just gives you more interest on your page. But honestly, this is just, it's such a relaxing process and it's so fun. Um, and it takes your mind off of whatever you're worried about and it brings it to the page in your hands and it just, it's calming. So whether you <laughs> um, try this or you're just enjoying watching the process, um, there we go. And you can tell I put a lot of paint on these pages, um, but it's really thick paper so it can handle it. So I'm gonna just let this dry and then we're gonna come back and do um, some collage layers and also use the printables from this month. So that's gonna be fun. So stay tuned for that. Okay, I'm back. My page is nice and dry and it has lots of fun texture on it. I'm gonna bring it up a little closer. I'm just hitting my cord there so you can kind of see, um, see it up close. I decided that I wanted to add a bit more paint um, to give it a bit more texture and color because um, it's a kind of one note with the pink and coral. Um, so I'm going to try something new. I haven't done this before I'm doing it <laughs> for you on this video live. So I found um, a shipping envelope from something I'd ordered. Look how cute that is. Anyway, I'm distracted by cute, a cute envelope. I'm going to try with the bubble wrap to do some texture. So I'm going to use this avocado green. I'm just going to take some of the paint and lightly brush it on the bubble wrap. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I have no idea, guys, but um, yeah, we'll see. So set our brush down here and I'm just going to lightly tap it down on my page. I don't want to push too hard because I want to get the texture of the bubble wrap. Okay, you can see some of the circles. Let's try it again. <clears throat> it's not as circly as I would have liked, but it looks cool. And we're experimenting, so let's try that again. Let's put a bit more paint on here. The goal is just to play and have fun and um, add some more um, interest to the page before I start putting other layers down. So this definitely does the trick. I'm gonna do it over the um, over the crease of the page this time. Just push it down. <clears throat> yep. It's not very bubbly, but it's okay. I will take it. It's still going to look really cool. It's just another texture on the page. And that was what I wanted. So excuse me if my voice is kind of hoarse. It is the morning and I just made my coffee. <laughs> and when I got up, I just had to come down and do this. So you're getting my, my morning voice right now. All right, so. Do another for here. Ooh, that got me some nice bubble texture right there. I like that. I think I'm gonna do one more bit up in the corner. And I might do another color too, just to get some more interest. I don't know, this is just, it's just fun to play and see what happens. Oh, that looks cool. Okay. This corner needs a little bit too, so maybe we'll just do it without without adding more paint. Okay. 
All right. Well, that was a fun experiment. <laughs> and um, I'm going to let this dry. Do I want to add anything else right now is the question. I kind of do. I kind of want to add... I want to do, I'm going to take my white here. It's just basic. Um, I'll put some on my, my palette. I love doing um, just really big freeform circles. I'm going to take this brush. These brushes, friends, are not anything fancy. These are Crayola. This was a pack I had bought for my kids. So nothing fancy over here. Um, you can have whatever supplies you want and they will work. All right, so I think I'm just gonna go in and do some circles. Yeah, that looks really fun. Go across the crease of the page there, do some different sizes. Oh yeah, that's fun. I like that a lot. It's all about layering and we're mixing the green in with the white and that's totally okay. That makes it even better. Gives it even more interest. Yeah, this is fun. I like these circles a lot. That one's gonna be a lot greener because the green paint's not dry yet. It's just like creating a free form pattern. It's really fun. Oh, I'm loving this. This is why it's so important to just let yourself let go and have fun. Um, and I've, like I said earlier, like that's not always super easy for me and making messes isn't super easy for me, but the rewards when you do are worth it. So that is really cool. I like how that looks. I'm gonna make this circle a little bit brighter white. Sometimes there's just bits of texture like right here that just makes me so happy, that whole situation right there. Let's do another circle here, here, and add a bit more down here. Yeah, that looks fun. Okay. Well, now I'm gonna have to let it dry again. <laughs> I can head off and sit outside for a bit with the birds and enjoy my coffee. And we'll let this dry and then we'll come back and add some more layers. Okay, so my paint is dry and as you can see, I have laid out um, my pieces for my collage. I will probably no doubtly add <laughs> some more things after I'm done with this, but um, kind of the opposite of how I go, I work with the paint where I just don't really have a plan. Um, with the collage bits and pieces, I like to have a plan. <laughs> so um, I have cut out um, a bunch of our printables um, from this month. And I wanted to show you before I get started. So this is the clear sticker paper that I use. Um, this Avery full sheet shipping labels, um, clear shipping labels. I usually get them on Amazon. Um, so these are what I print the clear, um, I use for my clear sticker paper. And it looks, looks like this. I've already cut out a bunch of things, but it looks like this. It has this on the back and it's scored, which makes it easy to peel apart once you've cut things apart. Um, and so that is that sheet. And then we also have um, our lettered quotes and I've cut out two of those. And these are also on the clear sticker paper that I have here and here on the page. And I've also cut out a couple of these fun uh, butterfly wing printables from this month as well. Uh, the healing one here and this fun one that has the wings with like the, the kind of fun little um, piece of paper taped on them together. I also cut out the black label. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that or not. Um, so that's um, and then also some of these bits are from our printable as well. So the um, kind of rainbows here, these um, branches and these X's up here. So that's that. And I showed earlier in the beginning of the video this fun pattern that I had saved in my um, stash. 
and I tore out some bits from that. So this fun arrow and this bit, I just love kind of the arrow pointing downward from the butterfly. So I pulled these two bits out from that. And this is fun. So this is a tag from a sweatshirt, I think, that I bought from Natural Life, which is one of my favorite companies. Um, and I'm gonna add my butterfly here on top and that covers up the, um, the logo. So that's a fun way to repurpose um, a really basic, you know, thing that comes on a piece of clothing that you bought. So, so this is my basic layout here and I'm going to just start um, putting things down. And the, um, this is where the magic happens because I love, especially with the clear, the clear sticker paper. Um, I love starting to put these things down, especially over the really pretty textured paint background because everything shows through. Um, and then it's just a really cool effect. So I'll start putting these things down. A little tiny bit on the corner here. Put that right there. Okay, and then we'll do this upper corner here as well. If we can get the backing off. It can be oh it was scored right there. It's kind of hard to tell when you have such a skinny piece. Okay. I'm gonna put that up here, if I can get my fingers to work. Put that up here. Put the other rainbow up here, kind of upside down. I love these kind of scalloped rainbow shapes. See how fun is that? You can see through the paint, um, through the, the printable, which is fun. So I think I'm gonna move all these up here and I'm gonna stick my pattern piece down. I could use glue stick on this. I think I'm gonna use the double side tape because it's so delicate. I'm worried that the glue stick, like when I'm rubbing it on, it will it will rip. And this stuff, this double sided tape um, is pretty um, transparent once you stick stuff down. Um, and I'm not gonna worry about like sticking the full thing down as long as the bulk of it is stuck to the page then I'll be fine. So I'm gonna do, put another piece here. See, it's really delicate, so I definitely don't want to rip it, and I think the glue stick would probably rip it. So, just peel the backing off. And if you don't have, I mean, this is a very specific, you know, supply that not everybody's gonna have in their stash. Um, you could use some fun tissue paper instead. Like I have this tissue, you could use um, all sorts of different things to layer. Um, just get creative with what you have. And also just be, be on the lookout for fun things to use when you get a package or, you know, a new, um, piece of clothing, like the tag, like this tag that I have here. Just be on the lookout for fun things that you can use um, and repurpose. So, all right, so I'm going to, let's see here, what do I want to put down next? I think we'll put our, our quote down here. These are all hand lettered by me. I really love including my own hand lettering and the printables for the club. Oh, that looks so fun. I love how see-through it is. Um, we'll stick down our wings next here. Get another piece. I think since I want to make sure the edges of my, my branches here go underneath this tag, I'm going to stick it down without sticking the center down. And that way I have some, um, it's not, you know, stuck down right here so that I can just slide them underneath. Let's see, I think I want it this way. Okay, I'm gonna put that right there. And then I'm going to put down, I'm trying to remember how I had these. I can add them like, like that. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just 
just gonna be really gentle here and get this end underneath here so that it's, that ah, looks really cool. I love how different it looks once you've peeled the backing off and you don't have that white background and it just blends in. Lift that up a little bit. And don't be afraid to overlap these stickers. See how the leaves overlap there? It just gives it more interest, makes it more fun to look at. Okay, I'm gonna stick this last one down like that. There, that looks really cool. Like the branches are coming down out of it and the words are coming up out of it. That looks really pretty. All right, so I'm gonna move over to this side. I didn't, I love so much how this painted background came out that I didn't wanna cover it up too much. So I'm keeping this layout really simple and it's really just all about creating something pretty, something beautiful um, that's pleasing to the eye and that just makes you happy. <laughs> that's um, really what I want this process to be about for you. I just want it to bring you joy and just be pretty to look at. You know, there's something to be said for beauty and just finding beauty in simple things. And um, not having to take a ton of time to create something um, that just brings you joy. And you can look at, you can prop your, you know, art journal open and sit it on a shelf and, and admire it. <laughs> um, all right, we're gonna stick this right here. So you really can't see that tape behind it at all, which is great. And then I was going to put these X's here, I think. I'll peel the backing off of that. Stick those right there. That looks really cool. And our tag was going to go here. And this was going to go here. One of my favorite phrases since <laughs> spring of 2020, it's okay to not be okay. And it really is. We need to acknowledge all of our feelings, <laughs> even though sometimes we really don't want to admit that we're not okay. Um, we just aren't all the time. And the more we can just acknowledge that and be gentle with ourselves, um, the more we can heal. So make sure I cover up the logo there on the tag. I like how it still has the string on it so that can just be a little extra detail on the page. Let's find the end of my tape. There it is. Stick the tag down. As you can tell, I am not um, <laughs> picky about putting my tape on. I just want to make sure it sticks. And I, I don't need to um, use a whole lot I'm gonna overlap those X's a little bit there. That looks really cool. All right. And then I'm going to put down our other quote here. Just kind of overlap it right there. Oh, that looks really fun. Okay, and then this over here, I wanted to put some kind of word or phrase. And I have, I've used these sticker books and some of my other videos. I'm from Tim Holtz, and I think I'm going to look for one word that I want to use here. I'll look for a black one to kind of um, really have a nice um, contrast with the white tag. So what word will work for this? Search through here. I like the word hope. That has definite possibility. Um, magic, that's one of my favorite words. We all know that. <laughs> and I want it to be a short word because there isn't a whole lot of space here. <clears throat> so let's see here. What else do we have? Now, I really, this is resonating with me, the word wishes. I really like that. And I think that's gonna look really cute right there. Just the idea of magic and positive energy and making wishes for good things 
uh, to happen in our lives. Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna add one more thing. I was looking through my stash of stickers and I have, these are some of my favorite stickers. These are thickers. Um, <laughs> if you're a scrapbooker, you'll know what I'm talking about. Like stickers with a TH, thickers, and they're, and they're felt. Um, and they look, they remind me of moss and I love them. And I realized that the green is a perfect match. So I thought that down in this corner here, I could do some kind of phrase or something with these stickers. And I think what I'm going to write is yes to this. Um, yes to this. Yes to it is okay to not be okay. Yes to I am surrounded by positive energy. Um, so I'm gonna st go backwards so that I know I have space, the space to add okay. So I'm gonna do this first and T. Thankfully, I've, <laughs> because I like these stickers, I love these stickers so much. I have been very conservative with them and I have not used them up. Even though I've had them for years, like, I've probably had these stickers for 10 years and I'm not kidding. <laughs> yes, okay, yes, 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 yes to this. I really, really, really like how the green looks against the page and the texture of the felt. Okay, so I need the word two. So T-O, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna put it here. Two, I need an O. Thankfully they've stayed sticky. Mm, not loving that. Thankfully I can pull it up a little bit. I think I'm gonna move it over this way. Okay, and then I'm gonna put yes above that. Which a Y. Try it like this and see if I like it. Yes. Okay. Yes to this. And then I think right here, I'm going to, I'm making a mess here, but that's what we're supposed to be doing, right? <laughs> I'm going to look at my, what I have left of my printables here and find something that I can put right here that will look cool. Um, I might do, hmm. I'm trying to think what I will like. I'm gonna try the hearts maybe. Let's cut these hearts out. I use hearts a lot, so, and there are no hearts on this page yet, so <laughs> I feel like maybe, maybe I'll use, let's cut these two out together and see what we think. And because it's clear sticker paper, you don't have to be too precise with your cutting, which I love because I am impatient. Okay, well, that doesn't fit there, so I'm going to cut them apart. Oops. Put, oops, where'd the other heart go? Let's cut the rest of this background off. Let's see. Yes, let's see if I like maybe the small one there and the big one there. What do we think? Cannot get my fingers to work to pick these hearts up. Let's try that big heart right there. Yeah, I like that. And then we will put this other heart next to it, like this, like this. There, yes, 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 I love it. Okay, and maybe, maybe we need one more, oops, little heart to just kind of balance it out next to the word yes. So let's try that over here. 
Okay, put that here. Oh, that looks cute. All right, now I've made a mess on top of my page, so let's let's clean all these bits off and see what we have here in all of our trash away. Okay, I think this turned out really pretty. It's very simple but powerful, <laughs> and I hope that watching this process has been calming for you, encouraging, uh, maybe inspired you to create your own. I'm gonna pick it up a bit here and show you some of the details close up. You can see the texture on these letters. And yeah, I thought I might add some doodling to it with my pen, but I don't know, I just, I like, I like how this looks. I think it's really, beautiful and and just it shows you what you can do with some paint a couple printables and a few extra little bits like the the tissue the um, pattern the tag um, and some letter stickers um, but really just use what you have and have fun with it so I hope you've enjoyed watching my process thank you for joining me for this video and I will talk to you later